What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we've got some more cards from EX01, that new special collection set that's coming out that we need to have a little bit of a chat about. Translations here do come from the lovely folks over at DTCG Review and the lovely folks over at Enzan Gaming. You know I'm a fan of both of those places, so when they're in agreement, that generally makes me pretty gosh darn happy. So, what do we get? Let's start off with a level 3 V-Mon. Now, starting off, we've got 3 cost to play normally. 0 cost to Digivolve, 2,000 power. And this is extremely standard. This is exactly what we would expect. Nothing really to see here. But we have an inheritable skill. This says, on your turn, limited to once during your turn, when this Digimon becomes active during your main phase, gain one memory. Cool. I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is... It's cool, <laughs> to be honest with you. And people are going to like this. People are absolutely going to like this. In certain decks where you are going to be made active during your main phase. Now, when it says main phase, we of course mean your unsuspend phase where you will become unsuspended normally. Obviously, that doesn't count. It's got to come active during your main phase. And the obvious one here is Old Force Vigemon. When one of your blue tamers becomes suspended, you unsuspend this Digimon. Now, incidentally, that skill is not limited to once during your turn, but this Vmon absolutely is. So, yeah. You're still only getting into one memory, but that, to me, is straight off the bat the one you want to go for, first of all. That, to me, seems like the obvious one, because you are going to be making yourself active on a fairly regular basis. That seems cool. My Biggest problem here is that the Vmon from BT2, on your turn once during your turn, if this Digimon becomes active during your main phase, draw a card. And an argument could be made that you would rather draw a card than have a memory. Obviously, it's going to depend on your board state and all of that good stuff. But my point is, there is an argument. Now, to be fair... You could just play four of each. You can just go for a play set of each. And then when you become active, everyone that's Digivolve from BT2 lets you draw a card. Everyone that's Digivolve from EX01 gains you a memory. Remember, each individual one is limited to once during your turn. But if I've got four Digimon that become active, I can gain four memory here. And that's kind of cool. And incidentally, I know it would be a lot to get four Old Force Vigemon out. But if one tamer becomes suspended, all your old force Vigemon become unsuspended from that one tamer. And then all of these skills will activate once. So I like this. I don't think I like it as much as the one from BT2. But I can absolutely see you playing it with the one from BT2. It is also worth noting we've got the Aero Vigemon from BT2. When you Digivolve, if you have a blue tamer in play, you want to spend one of your blue Digimon. So that would be one that could absolutely get this skill rolling. That would be one you'd be looking for here. It would be in the same evolution line, obviously. So you know what? Yeah. That sounds pretty gosh darned good to me. We did look, of course, at the new Old Force Vigemon the other day. We did actually have that one to take a little bit of a look at. The Old Force Vigemon Zero, the new promo. And that one says, when you did Evolve, you may place three non-Digi Egg cards from your trash at the bottom of your deck in any order. To unsuspend this Digimon and a Tamer. So that would be another Digimon that can unsuspend. And therefore activate this particular skill. So yeah. If you're playing in blue. There are going to be a few options. I do not like it as much as one from BT2. But you could play both. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one. I'm going to give it four Wossies. And that seems overly generous. But I've said it now. I think this is a cool card. And frankly gaining more memory is a good thing. But we can also take a little bit of a look at a new level 4, and that is Leomon. Now, Leomon's a new yellow card. We've got a 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to Digivolve, 5,000 power. It's all about right. I mean, it's a level 4, 
So it would be nice if it was a four cost to play normally. But we've seen plenty of five and six cost level fours in yellow. Well, okay. Four and five costs at least. Turimon's the only six cost actually as it happens but still there's plenty of five cost ones out there we like four cost but i think having that one five cost is not going to be the end of the world i think we will survive and it's a security digimon so it wants to come out as a security card except it's not ankleamon it doesn't get played when it comes out as a security card it is arguably quite a bit better when it comes out as a security card at the end of the battle, recovery one. You get an extra security card. I love this. Imagine if your opponent attacks a security, takes out a security card, and then you just put one straight back with Leo Mom. You've just completely undone all of the work they just did to take out one of your security cards. And the thing to remember is that yellow far more than other colors actually do have the possibility of stacking security so cherubimon comes to mind if you have three or fewer security cards you place one yellow digimon from your trash on top of your security stack face down but you get to choose which card it is that you put on top of your stack so even though it's face down, your opponent might know what it is, but you will. So as long as Leomon's in your trash, you can use Cherubimon to put it back and guarantee that this security skill will activate. These yellow decks tend to be playing TK to Kaishi. When you play it, you look at your security, choose a card and put it into your hand. If it's yellow, you trigger recovery one. Well, okay, fine. That is random recovery. It is just the top card of your deck goes down. But we've seen this in yellow decks quite a bit lately, where because they're playing a bunch of stuff that recovers, they really do start focusing in on if it comes out as a security, because the more you can recover, the more security cards you're going to have through the course of the game. And the more security cards you have, the more your opponent has to take out, and the more likely it's going to be that you are actually going to activate those skills. Any recovery here is going to put a random card down and that is just one more chance for your security skill to fire the salamon from bt2 if you've got three or fewer security cards when it gets deleted you recover one so now it's not if leomon is in your five security cards it's if leomon is in your security or gets put there by tk takaishi or gets put there by salamon or gets put there by some other recovery. Yeah, sure, you've got stuff like Cherubimon that can fix it. But we've also got a bunch of other things that can just recover. And anything that recovers could accidentally put Leomon in there. That is why the security cards are so much better in yellow than in other colors. Because you're going to have more security cards throughout the game. So it's more likely that you're actually going to get access to those skills. And that is a very, very good thing. Again, if this wasn't yellow, I wouldn't like it nearly as much. But it is. So I'm going to go ahead and give it four Wossies. I think this is a really good card. And honestly, even four Wossies might be seriously downplaying how good it could be. I feel pretty comfortable that we are going to be seeing this in a lot of yellow recovery decks moving forward. And I'm already starting to regret only giving it four Wossies. But never mind. There's one more card that we need to take a little bit of a look at. And it is Infermon. And it's quite nice. We've looked at a level three. We've looked at a level four. And now we finish off looking at a level five. So Infermon then. We've got a black Digimon. Eight cost to play normally. Three cost to Digivolve. Seven thousand power. The Digivolution and Power are about standard. The 8 cost to play normally is a bit more than we'd expect. We've seen plenty of 8 cost level 5s, but we've also seen plenty of 7 and we'd rather have 7. But it's kind of worth it. On your opponent's turn, limited to once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon evolves to a level 5 or higher, gain a memory. And this is another one of those Digimon that I really like just to leave. Just to leave it out there chilling and see what happens. And maybe you'll gain a bit of memory here and there. Now it is a level 5. I prefer having level 3s or 4s that I'm just sitting out there chilling. 
But the fact of the matter is, this can get you extra memory here and there, just occasionally throughout the game, and that's pretty cool to me. If that's not what you're into, however, there is an inheritable skill, this Digimon, and all of your Digimon that has the same name as it, gain 2,000 power. Nice. Now, clearly here, clearly, we are talking about Diaboromon. We are going for a Diaboromon deck. Because Diaboromon, there are plenty of different ways where that can play tokens. And tokens are just extra Diaboromon. I mean, we started off just in Booster 1.0 in BT2, where when you attack, you play a token. There's a bunch of extra stuff coming in BT5 that does this as well. So the theory essentially is... You Digivolve your Infermon into Diaboromon, and not only does that Diaboromon gain an extra 2,000 power, but all of your Diaboromon, including tokens, gain an extra 2,000 power, which is kind of awesome. The problem is, do we want this over other Infermon? And I'm not entirely sure. We've got the one from BT5 that when it's deleted, you play a Diaboromon token, translated proxies from digimoncard.dev, which seems pretty gosh darn good. We've got the one from BT2 that lets you digivolve into a Diaboromon for a two cost rather than a three cost to make your Diaboromon easier to get out. It really depends on how much power you need. If and again, this is a very difficult thing to, to do because it really depends on the metagame at the time and that's going to change. Diaboromon comes in, the, the one from BT2, with 10,000 power, which is low, incidentally. Your average level 6 has 11. So essentially, this 2,000 bump takes it from just below the average to just above the average. So that's cool. But it really depends on what the metagame is going to be. If the metagame has a bunch of 12 and 13,000 power level 6s, it's not really going to matter. If it's got a bunch of 10,000, it might not matter. Although, obviously, being able to delete them while surviving is a good thing. So, I do think the 2,000 is significant, and I do think it's good because of that. Having said that, the Diaboromon from BT5 has 11,000. So there is an argument here that actually you don't really need the 2,000 bump. You get a 1,000 bump from somewhere else and that would be fine. It's a metagame call, but having the option to have the extra 2,000 is pretty gosh darned good. I'm not sure if I prefer it over the one from BT5, but having said that, you can always play them both. I'm going to give it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I don't like it as much as the other two cards we've looked at in this video. But absolutely, in a Diaboromon deck, I could see it seeing some love. But I want to know what you think about it. And in fact, about all of these. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.